Welcome to the Riddle Channel. Hey there, Riddle enthusiasts, and welcome back to the Riddle Channel. I'm your host, and today we've got something really special for you. We're diving deep into the intriguing world of mathematics and brain teasers today. So buckle up, put your thinking caps on, and let's embark on this thrilling journey of numbers, logic, and fun. To kick things off, let's introduce our first mathematical riddle, a good old shopping conundrum we're calling the Fruit Stand Challenge. Picture this. You're standing in front of a quaint little fruit stand with exactly $50 in your pocket, ready to buy a healthy mix of apples, bananas, and oranges. Here's the twist. Each apple costs $2, bananas are a dollar each, and oranges are priced at 50 cents each. Now you want to buy at least one of each fruit and spend all of your $50. No more, no less. The question is, how many of each fruit can you buy to meet these criteria? This riddle is a fun exercise in budgeting and strategic spending. It's a perfect blend of real-world application and mathematical thinking. Are you up for the challenge? Can you find the perfect combination of apples, bananas and oranges to spend all your money and not a cent more? Take your time, work out the math and remember there's no rush. It's all about the journey, not just the destination. It's not just about finding the solution, but also about the process of getting there. So get those gears turning and see if you can solve the fruit stand challenge. We'll reveal the solution soon, but for now, enjoy the process. Flex those problem-solving muscles and see where this mathematical adventure leads you. How many of each fruit can you buy to meet these criteria? The answer is 20 apples, 29 bananas, and two oranges. The trick lies in the pricing. With $50, you can initially buy 20 apples for $40, leaving you with $10. With the remaining amount, you can get 10 bananas and 20 oranges. But hey, we need to meet the criteria of spending all the money and buying at least one of each fruit. So let's tweak it a bit. Instead of 20 oranges, you buy only two oranges for a dollar and use the remaining $9 to buy nine more bananas. This way you spend $40 on apples, $9 on bananas and a dollar on oranges, totaling exactly $50. Moving on, let's dive into our second riddle, the mysterious equation. Here's the puzzle. 3 plus 6 plus 9 equals 1, 4 plus 7 plus 1 equals 3, 5 plus 8 plus 2 equals 5, and 9 plus 7 plus 6 equals what? Can you find the missing number? The solution to this riddle is not your typical mathematical operation. If you look closely, the answer depends on the number of letters in the spelled out version of the numbers. So, for the last equation, 9 has 4 letters, 7 has 5 letters, and 6 has 3 letters. That gives us 4, 5, 3. Neat, right? Now let's dive into our third riddle, the magical clock. Picture a clock that has a mind of its own. It magically turns backward once a day for one hour and forward twice a day for 30 minutes each time. If the clock currently shows 6.30 in the evening, what will it display seven days later at the same time? Remember, this is a magical clock, so don't let conventional timekeeping limit your thinking. What will it display seven days later at the same time? After seven days, the clock will show 6.30 a.m. This magical clock moves back one hour, but jumps forward twice, for 30 minutes each time, so it gains a total of half an hour daily. Over a week, that's an increase of three and a half hours, shifting our time from evening to morning. Now, for our final puzzle, the missing number grid. We have a series of rows with numbers, but one is missing. Can you figure out the missing number? The missing number in the grid is six. The pattern is simple. Add the first two numbers and subtract the third. So 2 plus 9 minus what equals 6? That's right, the missing number is 6. That's it for today's math-based riddles and brain teasers here on The Riddle Channel. If you found these riddles intriguing, don't forget to hit the thumbs up and subscribe for more brain-bending challenges. And as always, stay curious. Keep solving. See you next time. If you like this riddle, please click the like and subscribe button.